Hi, everyone. Welcome to the next in our MySQL interview series. Uh, my name is Shane Atherholt. I'm responsible for global sales of MySQL here in Oracle within the MySQL General Business Unit. Uh, today, I'm excited to have with me Nipun Agarwal. He's our Vice President uh, for uh, Research and Advanced Development uh, within our Oracle Labs organization. He's also the principal engineer uh, on our, one of our new exciting products called Heatwave. It's our cloud analytics offering uh, that's been out for some time. And this has been such a popular uh, product and so exciting and innovative. It was referenced by our chairman and CTO, Larry Ellison, on the recent Q2 earnings call. So Nipun, thank you for joining. We're glad to have you today. Oh, thank you for the opportunity, Shane. Very delighted to be here. Okay, let's jump in. So we're very familiar with the MySQL uh, Heatwave Analytics uh, technology, but a lot of our uh, folks listening are, are probably still somewhat new to it. Just taking a step back, what is Heatwave? What does it do? Right. Heatwave is a query accelerator for the MySQL database service. And the key things about this service is, A, it's totally transparent to the user. So the applications still continue to interact only with the MySQL database service. And behind the scenes, the Heatwave Accelerator significantly improves the performance of queries. So that's the first thing. It's extremely transparent. The mm -hmm. customer doesn't need to know anything. They don't need to make any changes to the application. Second aspect is that this is now a single database which is the MySQL database, which can now process both OLTP queries as well as analytics very efficiently. So customers don't need to have two different databases. And therefore, what customers see is that there is no need to move the data around, so no need for ETL. That's the second benefit. And the third benefit is it provides significant, and by significant, I mean hundreds to thousands of times, thousands of times better performance for analytics compared to like um, uh, MySQL. And even compared to the best services out there, like you know Redshift, it is three times faster than the fastest shape of Redshift and at one third the cost, right? So very, very performant and very inexpensive. And the reason we're able to do that is because it is highly optimized for OCI. And, it is, and that's why it's exclusively available only on OCI. Uh, great, okay, so that, 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 that makes sense. That's exciting. Uh, maybe just to piggyback a little bit on that then, you mentioned that uh, Heatwave is is one database with MySQL and it's you know fully integrated, not requiring a lot of data transformation. Um, what does that mean exactly? It just it, what does that mean for for customers? What do they see today typically, and what's available in the market? Right. So currently, what customers would see is that they would use MySQL database for transaction processing, but when they had to run analytics on this data, they would move the data from MySQL to some other database, like you know Redshift, Google BigQuery, or an on-prem solution like Vertica, and then they would run analytics on this other database. What we are now doing with this Heatwave in MySQL database service is that it's one database which has both these capabilities. So customers no longer need to extract data out of MySQL, move it to another database. They no longer need to manage two different databases with two different semantics, right? So it just provides the capability where all existing tools and applications, both for OLTP as well as analytics, can work directly off the MySQL database service and Heatwave. Mm, wonderful, okay. So again, to summarize, we have a technology that is fully integrated, requires very little uh, effort on behalf of the customer to get that benefit of both OLTP and OLAP. It performs extremely well and is extremely price competitive. That sounds, that sounds really, really exciting and, and great. So we get excited by that. Uh, but again, as I mentioned earlier, this product has been available now for, uh, for some time. So from a real world, real world perspective, now that we're seeing more and more users, are there any trends or what are we seeing in terms of types of customers or use cases? What are we seeing in the real world? Right. So the first thing is that since this service is so optimized for OCI, it is available only on OCI, right? the MySQL database service in Heatwave. So what we are saying, seeing is our two trends. One is customers who are currently using 
the community community edition of MySQL or on-premise version of MySQL, they have a lot of incentive to try this service because you're talking about significant, like you know, thousands of times improvement in the query performance, which they can get right by just migrating uh, their data to the MySQL database service and all existing uh, applications work as is, right? So that's the first trend we are seeing. But the second thing, which has been actually very interesting is that we are seeing a lot, a very high percentage of the people who are now trying the service are people who are migrating away from RDS, from Aurora, from Redshift, from Google BigQuery. So what we are find, finding is, is a big trend for these customers moving their data from these services onto the MySQL database, because the benefit they get is not just performance, it is not just the price, but it is the fact that MySQL is completely based on SQL standards. Whereas when people mm. try the Google BigQuery, there is a lot of proprietary extensions. Right? So that was something which was very interesting. We didn't really expect that people would think of that to be such a pain point. And some of these customers found that in addition to performance and the price, attractiveness of MySQL database and HeatWave, the fact it's completely standard-based is like a major advantage. The second interesting trend we are seeing is that Initially, we started off thinking of HeatWave to be something which is really designed for analytics. Many times, customers are running applications, which are OLTP applications, but they have many constructs which use analytic constructs, for instance, joins or group buys. So they are not analytic applications per se. These are OLTP applications, but there are some queries which take a long time, like you know, several minutes. So what customers are finding is that even their traditional OLTP applications in many cases are getting significant acceleration when they try the MySQL database service in HeatWave, right? So that's very interesting that not only is this something which is valuable for our analytic customers, but it's also very useful and valuable for customers who have performance problems with their current OLTP applications running on MySQL or MySQL based services like Aurora, like RDS. That's good to hear. Yeah, so it's, it's good to, to know that what we hoped to be some of the uh, advantages and, and value uh, propositions for HeatWave has materialized, but it also sounds like we are seeing additional, perhaps unforeseen uh, benefits or our customers are seeing benefits that we didn't necessarily uh, uh, perceive. Uh, maybe staying on that same uh, topic a bit, uh, a bit longer, are you seeing any type of um, organizational characteristic, you know, for example, is it software companies? Is it large, you know, banks, telecom, or is it a, maybe a mixture of all of them? Is, is there any particular thing that stands out or what, what would you say to that? Right. I think there's a pretty broad, broad spectrum, right? From e-commerce companies to financial institutions to healthcare, it's pretty broad. The in characteristics, which I would say are interesting are twofold. One is customers who had multiple instances of these databases, whether they were multiple instances of MySQL database or instances of different kinds of databases, we are seeing a very healthy trend of customers trying to consolidate their data from multiple databases into now the MySQL database service. Because one of the things we had to do as a part of HeatWave is to increase the capability of MySQL database to do a good job of managing large volumes of data. So that provides an opportunity for data consolidation. Right? So that's one thing we are seeing, that customers who had this whole variety of multiple instances of uh, databases and such, they are doing this consolidation into one. That's one thing which we are seeing. And the second thing which we are finding is that customers are really, really like, you know, seeing that for a much broader classes of applications, there are benefits with the performance of like, you know, HeatWave. So HeatWave is no longer just an analytic accelerator because many of these constructs are very applicable to OLTP. So we have multiple instances of these, some large customers who are very surprised and thrilled when they found, for instance, like you know, 50X improvement in their current OLTP applications. So pretty uh, across, the bro uh, across the board and data consolidation, consolidation of the multiple instances of the database into one is some, a trend which we are seeing in these early days. That's great. Yeah, sometimes as a you know, as a listener to these to these type of uh, interviews, sometimes folks question, well, I'm not. Is it for me, or is it for another market, uh, or another use case? And it sounds like what we're seeing is this just has a wide spectrum of opportunity for really anybody who's running a, a MySQL uh, environment with any level of analytic requirements. So that's great. Um, so moving along here, you know. It's, it's fun to talk about this and it's still very new for us and it's you know exciting and 
Uh, as I mentioned, this was referenced during a, a recent earnings call by, by Larry Ellison himself. Uh, but very quickly, like, like anything in technology, people always want to know, okay, great, but what's next? So, you know, I, I know you all have things you're working on the roadmap. What are some of the exciting things that you're uh, envisioning coming, uh, coming down the, the pike? Right. So the first thing I should qualify, right, is that the service is being built by the same team which has built the MySQL product, right? So people can rest assured that it is not the case that unlike other services that we're gonna have a dialect, which is gonna be proprietary or we're gonna fork, right? So it's being built by the same team. So whatever works like in the community edition or in the on-prem edition is exactly what works for you know, like the service, right? So it's built by the same team. So I do wanna like you know, mention this, that all the enhancements we are doing, it may take time, but they are being done in a way which is gonna be 100% compatible with MySQL. Now, in terms of the roadmap, what we are finding is that people want more queries to accelerate, right? And that requires enhancements both on the MySQL side as well as on the HeatWave side. So that's one thing you will see, that the number of queries which are gonna benefit from HeatWave is increasing dramatically. So we are putting a lot of engineering effort to increase the number of offloads of queries to HeatWave, that's one. The second thing is we are finding that as there is more data consolidation, which customers want, they want us to do a better job of managing large volumes of data. So for instance, people are now talking about storing and managing and processing tens of terabytes of data with MySQL. That's the second thing which we are seeing. And the third aspect is people want uh, or will benefit from more automation. So that's the third thing which we are working on that more smart automation for various aspects of the service. So those are the three things we are working on. Increased queries, which will accelerate, managing large volumes or larger volumes of data, and third, smart automation. That's great, that's, that's interesting. Uh, you know, I, I wanna reinforce a point that uh, you made uh, subtly earlier in your, in your statement. Um, I think everyone would expect, you know, basically to do it, do things faster, have more data, more, more uh, automation, that's kind of cloud, natural cloud uh, stuff. Uh, but one of the things you mentioned is, which I think is very important is, there is a tight collaboration uh, between the MySQL engineering team, the MySQL product management team, and obviously your team, the analytics team, uh, and that we are all operating in the same business unit within Oracle. And that's got a significant competitive advantage perhaps compared to other um, uh, public cloud providers. Uh, and that's why, that's the secret sauce between keeping everything so tightly integrated and removing the, these barriers to, to, to use with customers. So. Uh, something that folks should be aware of. Okay, let's wrap up. The last question I have for you is, I'm hoping by now we've got people extremely excited and interested. The question always is, is well, now what? How do I get started? So how would you suggest uh, people take the next step to, to try the service and, and get going with us? Right. So there are three ways people can take the next steps. The first thing is we have a 30-day free trial, both for the MySQL database service and HeatWave. And this is something we would highly encourage customers to come and try it for themselves. So they don't need to take our word for it because the mileage does vary. So they can come and see whether their applications are gonna benefit or not. Right? And note that in the context of the cloud, when we, if we make their uh, queries go 100 times faster, it means they need 100, the number of like, you know, time units. So it has a direct implication in terms of massively reducing their costs. Right? So that's the first thing that they can uh, avail of this 30 day free trial opportunity, see how things work for their queries, their workloads on a real instance. Second is that if they would like more information about what this acceleration is and like how the service is laid out, uh, they can go to our website, which has a lot more details. It has a, a white paper and they are very welcome to um, produce that. And then the third thing is that we are also offering a free performance health check. So customers can uh, provide answers to some questions and we will have one of our specialists reach out to them to then assess if their queries, if their workloads will be good candidates for this acceleration. And uh, they're welcome to like you know, use any of these three avenues for the next steps. And it's no cost to them. And uh, both them and us, we will have a better understanding as to whether their applications will benefit and how much they uh, will benefit. That's great. Again, so we'll give, we're telling customers, basically they have three options and those options go anything from so, somewhat self-service, taking advantage of the 30 day credits uh, to being very proactive and directly engaged with us where we will collaborate on their most challenging complex queries and, and everything in between. So that's great. Uh, that 
concludes our uh, interview series for today. Uh, Nipun, thank you for your time uh, and look forward to uh, seeing you down the road. Thank you. Thank you, Shane, for the opportunity.